heard a story. I don't remember if it's just a metaphor or it's a true story. I heard a story that says there was a man that was moving. He was carrying two baskets which are crabs. And as he was moving, one basket was open and the other one was closed. And he's moving with them. And one man met him and asked him to say, what is in that basket? He says, they are crabs. He says, but then why is it that you have closed the other one? There's a lid there. And the other one is open. And hear what he said. He said, um, this one which is open, they are black crabs. And this one which is closed, they are white crabs. And he was asked, he said, so what is the analogy of everything? He says, this one that is closed are white crabs. These ones which are open are black crabs. The reason why I've left this one open is because they are black crabs and I know their character. They are not going to run away. They are not going to escape. He says, why is that? Because when it starts climbing, when it wants to go, the other black one will pull it down. So they'll be fighting against one another and they'll be there. They'll get tired and they'll remain there. If a black crab wants to climb, the other black crab will pull it down. He says, but these white ones, once I open, if one climbs out, it is as if it has shown the way the others will fall and all of them will run away. For me, that is the characteristics of Africans. If one African sees the way, the moment I'm about to climb, you make sure that you pull me backwards until I fall. But why it's once another one rises up, you make sure that he pulls others and others will know the way to go. Indians and the Chinese, despite you condemning them and all, do you know what those guys do, the Somalians? Do you know what those guys are doing? When they come to Zambia, they wake a little bit and they see that things are waking out. They start calling their brothers. There's market here, there's business here. Just come. I don't have capital, just say, just come, I'll empower you. So you see an Indian will come without money, without anything. And when he enters here in Zambia, his brother will start keeping him. He'll be working with him. He's learning the business field. And after he learns, he knows how business operates. He gets a little capital and empowers him to stand on his own. And that guy will stand on his own and he will rise. And when he rises, you tell him, say, don't give me that money that I gave you. But invite another Indian and you use the money to give him so that he can also prosper here. That is how these guys have infiltrated our nation and they are prospering. You can condemn them, but I think to some extent it's a good mentality. That's how the Jews are, are, are lifting one another. That is how the Chinese are lifting one another. When the Chinese come here and they find a project, they will look around. They find a project. They say, that's good they go back to China and bring Chinese to come and work, even carrying a shovel, things that you can do. But they want to empower themselves. I was reading a research and I realized that as it stands right now in Africa, we have got over 11 million Chinese that are in Africa. How are they coming? Do you think all, of those, all those guys are engineers? Do you think all those guys are doctors? No. Others were just brought to come and find life. But an African, if he goes to a place, and he finds there, there's an opportunity. Say, Kai, you make sure that he cuts your connection that no African should go there. That is the demon of Africa. That is the demon of Africa. If he finds a ladder, you climb, and when he gets on top, you take the ladder and break it so that no one else should rise. That's a mentality of Africans. They don't love to empower one another, to see one another prospering. More especially Zambians. Zambians are worse. Zambians are waste. I have seen Nigerians helping one another. I have seen the Nigerian community in South Africa or right here in Zambia. I know some, a lot of Nigerians. They will come here and when they are doing well and things begin to happen, they start calling their Nigerian brothers. There is opportunity here, come. There is an opportunity here, come. And they begin to come. They begin to come. They start up small, small things and they prosper. Even you right now seated in this church, what have you done for someone who is not you? Someone who is not your relative to show you that even you are affected by this demon. What have you done for any other person? Have you ever given an opportunity to someone who is not you? Someone who is not your relative? What have you ever done for somebody else who is not you? More Than Conquerors Family Demonstrating God's power and revealing